big fan of this show. Super happy to talk to you guys. Um, so uh, one of the things about the first season is that it had an overarching storyline with Bitsy trying to acquire the park. And season two feels like it's a little bit more freewheeling, that it's not as, you know, that that it's not some big storyline, if you will. Um, can you sort of talk about season two, maybe what's different about it? We realized that the serialized uh, shows are very fun and very difficult in a fun way. But then I think with season two is more just like, well, let's like give the characters just a little room to like spread out and just have a story that's diving into Cole and a story that's diving into Molly and give them a little space and maybe not be, you know, keep an arch because that's, that's who uh, an arc because that's who Bitsy is and that's what she wants. But like maybe a little more room for everybody to kind of tell their own stories a little more. Yeah. And telescope back in time, if we need to, you know, really uh, take a moment to, yeah, to, stop the clock, not, not erase, like Nora said, not, not get rid of the arc, but just take a, take us a, a moment in time and explore how we got there. Who's, you know, who's, who's uh, backstory needs to be expanded a little in order to appreciate the moment. Yeah. I thought you did season two, what I've seen, I, I saw the eight episodes that were provided. I thought they were great. Uh, and I don't want to get too specific, but uh, I loved episode eight and the way you guys worked in like Lego and all these movie references. I don't want to spoil anything, uh, but that, can you sort of talk about mixing in some pop culture, if you will, into the show? We have dabbled in that area on Bob's Burgers, and it's really fun because we are, like, I guess everyone in the world is a movie buff, so it is easy. Um, and it's also kind of like an easy structure where like the audience gets what you're going for, and then you can play with jokes within that structure. So it makes the joke writing kind of easier. It makes like sort of the drama that you're going for with your character's internal conflict easier. It's just very helpful, frankly. And also it's just kind of a fun way to whip through several stories for each character. I always like it too because it's characters telling stories to each other. So you're in the voice, you're a writer, but now you're making your character a writer of this particular tale. And I find that to be... Um, really charming. It sort of, you know, brings you back to when you're a kid and you, you are playing with your Legos, telling, telling stories to whoever. Um, and then I think in this case, we were just talking about this, but the, in this case, you also right in the middle of the, the silliness, you have this beautiful song in, in Molly's story, which is, you know, which was so heartfelt. So I, th that was nice. That, that was the, the central park version of, of that kind of storytelling, um, that felt really, I think, um, Yes, you could have, suddenly the thing could feel, you know, deep, not just um, rapid fire movie references, but all of a sudden also a real character moment. Uh, trying to make any show is difficult. Animation makes it hard. I mean, the level of difficulty that you guys are trying to do with this show is, is it, it's really hard. And then you're adding songs, which is like, OK, let's just at what at what day have you thought about? Let's just take songs out. F this. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I mean, every day. They, it, or yeah. another way to say it is, you. It, the songs are so wonderful, but it kill. Speaking for myself and Nora in particular, it kills us if the eyeballs aren't right in the breakfast scene too. You know what I mean? So we 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 live in. Uh, unfortunately, I think the curse is. You know, you just always want to get nailed a nailed a acting, nail the animation, nail everything. Um, and it becomes uh, very difficult because you you may say, oh, we, you know, we pour all our resources into the song. That's what we're doing. You know, we're doing a musical. But you can't live with yourself if if a, a take is off or a, the eye line is off in, in, a, in just an in-between scene that's not a song, that's just a joke or a little passing moment. Um, so, you know, it's sort of, uh, it's a curse because you, you gotta, you know, you end up staying up late trying to get those right, or you inspire other people to stay up late and get those things right. Hopefully, now that the show is successful and people know about it, is it? Are you sort of aiming at any singer songwriters that you really want to bring on the show? And can you sort of talk about because you've had such great songwriters already? Um, I love the songs. I'm just curious what you're thinking about for the future. I have one man. That I've always wanted to get on, but it's, I mean, let's hear it. It's Rand. It's I'm a giant Randy Newman fan. I mean, like pre 
Pixar, and Pixar, of course, but pre like all, everything he's done. So I mean, that's my dream person. He's an amazing like storytelling songwriter. I don't know. I don't know if that answers your question, but that's what all I'm thinking right now. That's <laughs> yeah. the question. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that, you can't. It, it can if you don't put it out there. It you know what I mean. You gotta. Randy. Are you watching this? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, before I run out of time with you guys, I am curious though about the Bob Burgers, Bob's Burgers movie. Um, what's the status of that? It's coming. Working, working uh, hard on it. Uh, excited to bring it out into the world. Excited also to bring it out at the right time. Uh, we're, we're not, you know, we do not want to be the first movie back in theaters at all. I mean, I know we're not already. We're not the first, but we don't. We're not in a hurry to be in. In, in theaters until it's really uh, come back. Uh, people are going to the movies and feel safe and, you know, comfortable there. Um, and we have to finish it. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, you know, it's not, um, you know, it's not next month. Uh, we don't have a date yet. We'll announce very soon. Um, but we are we're hard at work on it, up late at night. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but uh, <laughs> hard at work. Uh, will it, will it resolve where uh, this the show takes place? Oh, the nameless seaside town is that what you mean? Yeah. We've yeah. actually said it in the episode. It's just been it just went by quickly. It was a blink and okay. you miss it. And now I'm not going to say it now because now it feels like a thing. <laughs> I'll leave it be. I'm just going to say seriously, congrats with Central Park. I love the show. I'm super happy to help you promote it. Thank you, thank you, appreciate thank it. Thank you, thanks, Steve. Have a great day.